Yo, I'm back with episode 9 of the Tennessee Titans franchise. I think it's time to make a couple of no negotiations with pending free agents, and I don't really think we need a lot of them. I think first of all, we definitely want to give Caleb Farley a fifth year option when that becomes available. But right now, I definitely want to bring Aziz Al Shahir back. So we're going to offer him something like this. And we do get him back. And then Sean Murphy Bunting, I also want back maybe on like two years. I don't want to spend too much money on him. Um, we might have to pay him a little bit more, but I'd be happy to give him a decent amount of money to get him back. He is a solid corner, only 26 years old. He could be a decent player for us for a couple of years. We have a Thursday night game, so it is going to be a short week of training. Talking to Tannehill still. want to force score four offensive touchdowns and beat the Steelers. I think that is very doable. I think Will Levis should be our starting quarterback. Seeing Tannehill there kind of scares me, though. Yeah. I think Tannehill is a captain. That might also be the reason why he is not a captain. All right. Um, I don't know why Tannehill is always put as a starter in these. because I forgot to change it last time. I was too focused on Farley. If we look at stats and awards, I think yearly award predictions or current standings are out right now. If we go to yearly awards, I don't think we have anyone in the MVP race because we are dog shit. If we go to Offensive Player of the Year, we don't have anyone there. Defensive Player of the Year, probably no one there either. Will Levis is second in Offensive Rookie of the Year, which is awesome considering he's only started four games. Defensive rookie of the year, we're not going to have anyone here. Best quarterback. Best running back. D-Hop is fourth on best receiver. I'm not going to have anyone on best O-line or D-line, more than likely. Probably not linebackers or D-backs either. And then Greg Joseph definitely isn't in the best kicker race. I'm going to hop into weekly strategy. I hope my mic isn't picking up too much gain right now. Probably a lot of like static noise in the background because of the fact that there is no music and I'm not talking for certain bits. So there will be just like a static fuzzy noise um, more than likely. I mean, I hope not, but you never know. And then we're gonna do split for all these guys per usual. And then on offense, I think we wanna stick with the short short throws because Minka is scary. Probably gonna do backups for receivers. Quarterbacks probably have Levis. start the full practice and then as far as goals I think we can probably double down and if two or more of those touchdowns can be passing that will work well for our short week game plan a lot of 24 points or less is fine because if we do that and score four touchdowns we will win and get that challenge done I think 300 plus offensive yards is a solid goal. And then um, five plus offensive touchdowns. I mean, if we're gonna try and go for four, you might as well go for five, you know?
no injuries on offense and it's looking like no injuries on defense either we might have some upgrade tokens no all right let's get into the game against the pittsburgh steelers I turned the game down a little bit. We got Thursday Night Football against the Steelers. And we are returning it to start off. I'll see what Barry Oz can do. Not terrible. Not impressive either. Let's see what Levis can do. Titans in 2023. It's the 24 year old rookie out of Kentucky, Charles, Will Levis. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workman like in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the I mean, Levis being 24 as a rookie Levis. is like something that kind of surprises me. Like, people always talk about how Stetson Bennett is 25 and hate on him for it, but you never hear about how old Will Levis is. <clears throat> And I mean, like, that's the difference between Bennett and Levis, is like, Levis, a lot of people hate on him because Levis is so old, but he's still so raw. So, like, if you want to get a guy that's 24 years old, <clears throat> you probably want a guy that's more developed and, like, mechanically sound, you know? Gonna keep handing it off to Derrick Henry until they can stop us for less than a yard or so. Because three yards and a cloud of dust. Get three yards at every carry, you'll get a first down. Every set of downs, you know? However, now they picked up a first down, I think it's a good opportunity to set up the play action. Play action cross, I like the sound of it. Burks will probably be open on the crosser. If not, we can probably find D Hop deep. D Hop gets a good cut. Can Levis get the ball there? No, he can't. Didn't see the safety there. Or, I did see the safety, but I didn't think he could get there as quickly as he did. Probably gonna hand it off two spears unless good read by Levis he gets down at the 39 yard line for a third and one and on third and short we're going to be looking for a chunk and that'll be picked off unfortunate read And it gets picked off. All right. Let's go in and play some defense. I'm not too worried about Kenny Pickett. Man, the way he just stopped there and jumped kind of threw me off. Because I saw that little orange, that orange circle, like the ball was going to go there. I kind of... Didn't think about how he could just jump and cut the ball off. Najee breaks one tackle, but gets wrapped up after a small three-yard game. We're kind of getting tired, and 
We already had our bye. It might also be because we are on a short week. Like mentioned, Murphy Bunting does break up the ball against Deontay Johnson, who I don't think believe I don't think deserves superstar, and I have to change that. I honestly don't really think Deontay deserves superstar, but we're just using EA's rosters. Pickett misses the throw. And it sets up fourth and seven. Brett Maher makes a solid 45-yard field goal. And we're going to get the ball back to Levis. Hopefully he can bounce back from that early interception. Barrios breaks the tackle and gets to the 24. We're going to hand it off to Ty J. Spears and get our back offense back on the rails with a solid long drive on the ground. If he could have gotten around that guy, he could have broke one, and that long drive statement could have gone right out the window. There's weird lighting on my face right now. I don't want to shut my curtains, though. Maybe there would be a decent natural light. We could try. Alright, I do kind of like this a little bit better. So, we are going to keep it like this. We're still getting some natural light peeking in from the top. So, I don't think it's that bad. Levis gets taken down for a sack, third and 17. Let's see what we can do. On a post cross, I really like the routes on this play on paper, but I don't know how often it works out for me. Barrios is open, but Levis can't get it there. Levis is kind of crumbling. Can Molding get there? No, he can't. Because you get right back out there, you don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited. So Farley so wraps up Deontay Johnson after a four yard reception, six yard reception, bringing up second and four. Solid defense by Farley. I think he's been playing really well for us after moving out him up to our CB2. And I. Blew my coverage. I always play shallow whenever I use her at deep safety. I don't know why. To have it, I got a break. Probably gonna use her Justin Simmons here, or Jeffrey Simmons rather. I could see a handoff, but it's play action. Jeffrey Simmons got tossed. Luckily, Roger McCreary tipped that ball. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Play action again. We get tossed again. We can't wrap up Deontay Johnson, and he goes down at the one yard line. Money Hookers going to. Run man coverage on Pat Fryermuth. Another dump off to 
Deontay Johnson, and he gets into the end zone. And back on offense here. They have a lot of momentum. Another slow drive is what we need. We're going to hand it off to Tajay Spears again. A solid inside juke, getting us a five-yard gain, bringing it to the second quarter. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football as they are looking at a second and five situation. Going to run play action. Yeah, D-Hop was open, but that ball was horrendous by Will Levis. We need to bounce back. We're going to run a drag with Aquanko. Aquanko. And he is open. Finally, we complete a pass. And we pick up the first down. Drops back. I'm taken down after a sack by Larry Ogunjobi. Really pronounced that name weird. Another drag to Okonkwo because it just works. He's so wide open every time. Kind of feels cheap. But got to do what works in this league. Burke sits down for a easy reception. Turns around after the catch to bring it to a second and two, where we're probably going to hand it off to Derrick Henry. And he breaks the tackle and gets a solid 11-yard gain. And we're going to run another play action. Hopefully get it to one of our tight ends. I don't see anyone open, so we are going to take off with Levis. Solid block. We're going to run out of bounds. Because I don't want to run into TJ Watt. We do need two passing touchdowns. I think this is a decent opportunity to get one. Hopefully Okonkwo, Okonkwo runs a solid corner. And that is another pick by Minka. I don't know why he ran inside. That is my fault. Did he get outside of the tackle box? I'm not sure. I don't care all too much. Tackle Najee. Caleb Farley tosses him to the ground. It brings up a third and three. Going to run man coverage. Hopefully, Kevin Byard can cover. George Pickens. Decently enough. Sean Murphy bunting with a knockout on Deontay Johnson, bringing up fourth and three and getting us the ball back. This is a make it or break it drive for Will Levis because I'm about ready to bring in Malik Willis. Here comes Berrios. They'll net only 35. Make a break drive, buddy. See what you can do. Alright. 
They won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. Probably going to look at D-Hop here. Just barely get the ball away before TJ Watt gets to us. To be fair, for Levis, though, the Steelers' defense is top in the league. As we get sacked again, this is tough. a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out and they punted the football yeah and you never want to get stopped so south all right al shahir is on naji it's like it happened again right it's a play action naji's going to be wide open but pick it overthrows it i would say it probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths but i also don't advocate waiting that long Next series. I'm going to use your Simmons here. Okay, bull rush is successful. Mercury with a wonderful dive to break that ball up before Allen Robinson can get to it. Nice back -to -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. Definitely a pass play. Probably going to try to use your Autry. See if Simmons can get pressure on his own. Autry gets there. But not in time. And Farley... Cannot save that pass. Pickett sets up play action. Pickett has to throw away a lot. This is just a defensive battle here. This has just been a little bit better. Farley can't get there in time to knock it out. Too bad. They're going to run another play action. Lofting it deep. And George Pickens almost caught that. That would have been a very sad scenario if he did. Pick it right back to the air again. George Pickens is so wide open. Monty Hooker is going to lay out the rock on him. Or lay the hammer. Autry gets there, not in time. But Hooker is there to wrap him up behind the line of scrimmage. We're going to take our first time out. We don't want Jeffrey Simmons to stay hurt. So we're going to let him sit out the rest of this drive, the rest of this half. Take down Fryermuth. After a six-yard gain, bringing up third and seven. Probably going to run more man coverage. Hopefully we don't blow it. From the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Pick it back to throw. Autry gets the pressure. Is that PI? This could be a first down. Yeah. Damn. A little bit too physical. PI gives him the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. Sean Murphy Bunting makes up for it with an interception. And he brings it back to the 21-yard line. We're going to put Spears on a wheel route. Either 
Levis is completely out of energy, or TJ Watt is just that quick, but he was there and we had to throw it away. Great route by Okonkwo. Was not led enough, nearly enough by Will Levis. Four for 14 is an awful look. I mean, we gotta try and pass it again, right? See if Burks can get open, or D-Hop. D-Hop makes the catch. Gonna have to hurry it up. Gonna run play action. Don't know how gullible they're gonna be. What a dot! Get out of bounds. Good stuff, Oconquo. This is where we take our timeout. Gonna send Spears just straight up the middle. Don't see anyone open. Gonna send Berrios. And he almost makes the catch there. That would've been an awesome catch. We're probably just gonna run like four verticals. See if anyone can get open, get in the end zone. If not, I'm happy taking a field goal. If I can find the play, damn. There we go. This will be play number seven on the drive, third of the yard. Burks, if he can cut. And we get sacked. That is not what we wanted to happen. And that's going to end the quarter. If we had one more second to throw, we could have gotten it off to Burks. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. He did break a sack, but there was another guy right there immediately after. I think Burks could have been open for the touchdown, though. Got a goose egg on the board going into half. Got to step it up. Good tackle by number two. I'm not sure who that is. Still got to learn the names and numbers, especially on defense. Is it Al Shahir? No. Right. It is. Good tackle by Al Shahir. Can't wrap up that time, but Amani Hooker is able to push me without a bounce. He does get the first down, but Farley wraps him up after, so he doesn't get too big of a gain. Play action. Murphy Bunting is able to disrupt the pass again. He has been really solid for us. We definitely want to try and bring him back. We're going to use her Simmons again. Hopefully he doesn't get injured. Another knockout by Al Shahir. Very glad we got him back for, I think, three years it was. We are going to have Kevin Byard on Deontay. Sean Murphy Bunting is able to knock out another ball. He has been our whole defense today, and he is the main reason we're in this game. The last drive was not terrible by Levis. He's not been great, but I don't I don't know. It might just be a, the fact that the Steelers' defense is just incredible. The 
Is Derrick Henry? No, no shot. That's not how the game works. This is stupid. Please. Fix your game. Electronic Arts. And we get sacked for a safety. Please block for me, buddy. Holy cow. Lay him out. Pickens is already five for one oh five. Might have to key on it. Might have to key in on him. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. Definitely run up the middle. Yeah. Whenever they motion the tight end in that in that way, you always know that they are going to try and hand it off up the middle. Kind of a dead giveaway in this game. Kind of sucks. It really is too bad. Another toss to Deontay Johnson, who is four for 42. Harris running straight ahead, and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production... We're going to put a money hooker on this this Deontay. <laughs> I mean, Allen Robinson is just way too open there. Got to step up on defense before they get into field goal range and definitely before they score a touchdown. Another solid breakup by Sean Murphy Bunting. I think we're going to turn on a play ball, though. Solid tackle right at the line of scrimmage, bringing up a third and ten. What a good ball by Kenny Pickett. Nothing we could have done. A drop. Very rare for George Pickens. But he does it there. We get lucky. There's no shot he hang on, hangs on to that one. But drops the others? That's weird. Gonna have McCreary blitz. And pick up the first down. We need to hold them here. Looking to throw, pick it. And he's got it. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Gonna run a blitz. Try and get them taken down for a sack. Pick it now from the gun here. Instead, Meath is open and walks into the end zone. I just don't want to get shut out. That would be tough. So we are going to try and drive down the field and score before the quarter breaks, because I feel like that might be our only shot. First and ten, here's Levis. 
Instead, we throw almost another pick. Definitely a pickable ball. We're unraveling. I mean, the pressure is just instant. None of our routes have time to develop at all. We have to go for it. I mean, if we punt it away, we lose. If we don't get it, we lose. So... Burks hangs on. I was worried that after clicking rack, he would have dropped that. But he hangs on. I'm gonna put Barrios on a streak. Hopefully he can break his press. And he does. 31 takes a massive leap to knock it away though. Thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. Gonna take the snap. Barrios is open. But there's another throw to sack. Levis just has no time behind the line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what a top ten defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to And that's going to be intentional grounding. Fourth and 23. It's almost smarter to punt it here. Yeah, you have to get outside of that tackle to tackle box, right? Get out there and then you can do it legally, but he wasn't able to. But at the same time, we have to go for it again if we want a chance at this game. And Levis misses his throw. Burks was open. That's too bad. We did get a turnover. I forgot to turn off play offense. So play offense only. Very fortunate to be put in this situation. Levis is going to roll out, run out of bounds after a six-yard gain. All right, another third and four. Probably just going to run a screen to Derrick Henry. Hopefully can turn it upfield and turn a short gain into a big one. Picks up the first down. Very much needed. Burks almost holds on to that. He didn't cut the way I wanted him to. Levis is 9 for 28. Not good at all. That's another pick. Yikes. We're going to turn on defense again. Play the full game. Levis, I think, lost his job as the starter. Really too bad. And I mean, <laughs> just an instant touchdown. We're going to put in Malik Willis. If he can put up some stats... then he can probably earn the starting job next week. If not, we might have to try to draft the quarterback. Unless Levis can turn this around. D-hop open. 
very nicely. First down. And they're going to speed things up here. Flush to his right. Willis takes off, gets out of bounds at the 42-yard line. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First Gonna run verticals again. Now Willis to throw. Willis just dumps it off to D Hop yet again. We're gonna stick with the hurry up. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Willis looking to throw it. Willis gets taken down for the sack. D Hop is wide open, and Willis can't get it there. We're gonna have to go for it again, regardless. A Conquo should be open. Solid pass by Willis. We're gonna want run a couple corners. And Willis throws an interception. And that's going to turn into a pick six. I mean, we're going to put Levis back in and try and prevent the shutout. Tested Willis for a little bit there. I mean, it was fine, but... I think right now we want to try and stick to our guy and not give up faith just yet. So the pick six and now Levis right back to the air. Derrick Henry. Gets a solid 11 yard reception. I mean, <laughs> we got absolutely demolished against the top defense in the league. What a catch by Chigazem Okonkwo. Wow. Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Levis now on first and ten. Escaping the play. We just get caught by the ankle. Unfortunate. We just abandon the run way too often. And I think that is kind of what's unraveling us. We got to stick to our game plan that we've made from the beginning of the season. And that's just running, 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 running with our young quarterbacks. That's our best option. We're going to kick a field goal, get that goose egg off the board. A three looks better than a zero. We just could not get anything going on offense. It's too bad. We're just going to skip to the end of the game. That's game over. Unfortunate loss. Awful performance by Will Levis. Probably going to give him one more week to bounce back. If not, Malik Willis will probably start the rest of the season. But, I mean, he is second in... Rookie of the Year race. So we can't give up on him just yet, but his time is on its last draws. And I mean, I think after that kind of performance, he probably goes down quite a bit just on his own. Because of three picks, no touchdowns. We got to bounce back, Levis. Um... But next week we play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, another fairly 
Disappointing squad. I will see you for that then. Peace.